I grew up here in Portland, Oregon, Southeast Portland. I have a wonderful husband and I have two lovely children. Dina, who is a school counselor, and Michael, who is a third grade teacher. And I have three grandchildren. I was diagnosed with ovarian uh, stage 3C cancer. I didn't tell my family at that time. My husband knew I was going in for a checkup. So I went in alone, because that's my personality. So I thought it was okay, but when the transvaginal didn't work and they called the doctor, then I had an MRI. It was scheduled immediately that day. I had a wonderful gynecologist who sat with me. The news wasn't good, but we talked, we laughed, we cried. I will always cherish that. I'm sitting in the very chair where many of our major family decisions have been made, whether it be my daughter getting married or my son having a baby, what college they're going to. At that point, I realized that our journey was changing a bit and I was on stage and I, that was a new experience. I have a good college friend. I was going through a very dark period and uh, she called me and said, I have someone I'd like you to be in contact with. She is a lady who was part of my support group, but then went out and started the Ovarian Cancer Alliance of Oregon and Washington. That would be Diane O'Connor. She sort of brought me to my feet and gave me some wings when I couldn't remember how to fly. And she's been my mentor ever since. The energy it gave me to move on and move forward and know it's about today and that life was presented even more opportunities than I had before my diagnosis. None of us would choose this diagnosis, but in some levels it makes us better. I finally saw that and knew that I needed to have some part in it and be a peer mentor myself. If I can give what I got back just a little and know that they have someone they can talk to who has walked the walk, the Survivor Teacher Program is when we tell our story. Third year medical students that I speak to, or nursing students as well, I'm able to talk to them about the physical signs. We talk about the silent killers of what we don't notice with ovarian cancer. But it's gone beyond that. I would like to think that it's helped them see the whole person. The diagnosis may be the same, but the person sitting next to them is not the same. So I hope these students take that with them into their practices. I uh, was given tools by the Alliance that I don't know that I would have found any place else. It would have been so much harder for me and my family. It brought my sisters, it brought, it, I added sisters to my life. It helped me feel that sand beneath my feet again. If we change the things we look at, the things we look at change us. We may all have cancer, but it doesn't have us.